Create a new drawing. So click this drop down arrow. Click new. And since we are using inches, select ACAD 3D for imperial units and click open. Work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm going to open my reference drawing and just hover over and I have this one ready. So click this one. I'm going to work uh, side by side. So go to view, click tile vertically. I'm just going to adjust my screen. And make sure to be working on a 3D environment. So go down. By the status bar, click this uh, arrow here and then select 3D modeling. Now bring your drawing to front view. I'm gonna start with circle. So C for circle, enter and specify center point of circle. Click anywhere on the screen and enter 7.5 for radius. Now I'm going to draw another circle from this point to this point. The thickness is four. So I'm just going to offset this one. So all for offset command, enter and enter four. Click the circle and click inside that circle. Now I'm going to draw a line as a guide from center up to this point. And the length is 9.53. So L for line, enter. From center, move your cursor upward for 9.53 and enter. Move to your left, enter 2, go down and just click that intersection and enter. Now I'm going to extend this line. So EX for extend command, enter twice, click. And click again until it reaches this boundary, which is the outermost circle, and enter. Now I'm going to delete this portion here. Or trim. So TR for trim command, enter twice. Click this one and click this one. Now I'm, I'm going to apply fillet to create a curve. So go to home. And inside the modify panel, click this fillet icon. And right click and select radius option and enter 3.5. Click this arc and click this line. Now I'm going to offset this um, curve. So offer offset, enter, and enter 4, enter. Select the object to offset this one and click this uh, side here, the right side. Now, I'm just going to delete that and draw a line from in point to in point. Is it straight? Does it look straight? Line in point to in point. All right. Now, I'm going to create a line. A mirror line from the center of the circle so L for line shift right click and select center and move your cursor inside the first quadrant it won't matter uh, the, the length won't matter and press the tab key and enter 55 for the angle and enter now I'm going to mirror this one. So MI for mirror command. Select the object you want to mirror. Right click and specify first point of mirror line. So from in point to in point. And select no. Now I'm going to create this curve here. And I'm going to use ellipse. Uh, first I'm going to draw a guide from quadrant up to this point. For 6.25 so line again enter and from in point move to the right for 6.25 
copy this line from in point to the center line from here to here now I'm gonna create uh, an ellipse so inside the draw panel click this uh, icon here and specify center of ellipse click this in point or center of the circle so shift right click and uh, select center snap that and specify end point of axis so click this in point and click this in point oh, again center in point and this in point all right now i'm gonna trim so tr for trim command enter twice i don't need this one i don't need that trim that and trim this one and enter trim again delete this one now I'm gonna create another curve here uh, first I'm gonna draw a line and the uh, length for that is 0.2 and the angle from this point going downward is uh, from here to here is uh, 55 degrees so L for line and from in point enter point 2 and then press the tab key to enter minus 55 beca because it's below the X axis and enter now I'm gonna create an arc so inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select start and radius option. So click this in point, this in point, and the radius is 6.5 and enter, which is this one here. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay, I can remove that or trim first, trim, trim this one and this one and delete these uh, two lines. Now, I'm going to copy three, make two copies of this one. So, copy here and here. Because I'm gonna cut uh, this one here, uh, this one here, separately, and this one, and this one. So trim, remove that, and remove this one. And for this portion, trim. And for this one, I'm going to remove that, trim. Now I'm going to join the segment. So type J for join command. Click this curve and this one. Right click to repeat join. Same process here. So J for join command. I think this one and this arc here. Before we proceed, please make sure to turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking, 
object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and uh, I think that's it. All right. For this section here, I'm going to use loft command. I'm going to show you the model. For this one here, from here up to this point, I'm going to use loft command. No, not loft, but um, sweep command. This one, I'm going to use loft. And for this one, I'm going to use loft. All right. So draw a circle. So C for circle. Midpoint or mid between two points. And just snap that in point. Now I'm going to draw a path. So what I can do is just offset this one. So O for offset and enter 2. Click this object and click inside. Now inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select sweep. Click the object you want to sweep, right click, enter, and select sweep path. So click this one. And for this one here, I'm going to use loft. So I'm going to draw a circle, but I'm going to use this side here. So this is going to be the X axis and the Y should be moving this way. So I'm going to change the direction of the Z axis vector. So inside the coordinates panel, Click Z axis vector, click anywhere on the screen and move your cursor upward. So now the plane is, um, so the X is along this uh, line and the Y would be here. So I'm going to draw a circle, click the midpoint and just snap the endpoint. Now for this side here. Now I'm gonna, this is gonna be the Y and the X would be pointing this way. So our Z axis vector should point that way. So I'm just gonna bring this to front view and uh, select Z axis vector again inside the coordinates panel. Click anywhere on the screen and move your cursor sideways. So now circle from midpoint and just snap the in point. Shift right click and select in point. There you go. Now I'm going to use um, loft inside the modeling panel. Click this one and click this one. Enter and select guides. Click this guide here and uh, make it closer. Select this one. And enter and for this one here I'm gonna bring this to front view I'm gonna draw a circle so again I have to change the direction of the Z axis vector point it upward and then type in C for circle from midpoint and just snap the in point And for this one here, I have to change, I have to uh, create a line perpendicular to this line. So it could point my Z axis vector perpendicular to this line. So L for line from midpoint, move, move your cursor to that direction. I'm going to bring this to front view first. So I won't make a mistake. Okay, line from midpoint. Move your cursor to the right, slightly above the x-axis, and um, press the tab key and enter 35, as shown here. Now I can change the direction of the z-axis vector. So select z-axis vector inside the coordinates panel. Click uh, this in point and move your Z axis to this direction. And as you can see, the plane uh, changes. 
Now I'm going to create a circle from midpoint. So shift right click and select uh, midpoint. So that midpoint and just snap that uh, in point. There you go. Now I could erase this one now and uh, bring my drawing to Southwest Isometric and click the globe, this one, to set the current user coordinate system to the world coordinate system. Now it's back to normal. The UCS is, the plane is uh, direct, directing, I mean the x-axis vector is going that way, y and z-axis vector is uh, going upward. Now I'm going to use loft command and click this uh, circle and click this circle enter and select guides click this guide here and the second one here and enter i'm just gonna try i'm gonna move this one from the center of the object to the center of the object here and then move these two from the center of the object and snap it to the center of the face here shift right click and select uh, midpoint All right, and I'm gonna union the objects. So inside the solid editing panel, select union command. Now this is one object. Now I'm gonna create another circle and extrude it up to this point. And the height is eight. And our Z axis vector is pointing upward, so we're good. So C for circle, and from the center, enter D for diameter option, and enter 3. Now select that circle, and select extrude command inside the modeling panel. Click this drop down arrow, and select extrude, and enter 8 units, as shown here. Now I'm going to bring my drawing to front view. I'm just going to change this to wireframe. Now I'm going to create this uh, slot. And the distance between the center of these two arcs is um, 0.5. So I'm just going to draw a line easier. So 0.5. And draw a circle. And the radius for that is 0.25 so C for circle right click to enter specify center point so this in point and enter 0.25 same process repeat circle in point and enter 0.25 for radius now draw a line from quadrant to quadrant draw another line quadrant to quadrant now trim command, so TR for trim command, enter twice, and just window this option, or this um, uh, portion, and delete that. Now I'm going to join the segments, so J for join command, enter, and just select the whole thing. Now the distance from the midpoint here, or the center of the face, to the center of the object is um, 2, this one here. So I'm just going to draw a guide. So line from the center of the face. Move it downward for 2 units. Now I'm going to move this one. I'm just going to turn off the grid. Select the object. Right click, move, snap the center, and move it to the endpoint here. 
Now I'm going to extrude this one. So inside the modeling panel, select extrude command. Select the object you want to extrude, enter, and move um, your cursor to that direction or the other side, won't matter. And then move this one along the Z axis or X axis. Yeah, it's Z axis. And then select subtract command inside the solid editing panel. Subtract. Select the object you want to keep. Right click and select the object that you don't want. I'm going to show you using shaded with edges. There you go. And what else? Oh, I have to cut this portion here. And the radius for that. I'm going to create a circle and it has a radius of uh, 4. So I'm going to bring my drawing to front view. C for circle. Just hover over and snap that circle there and enter 4. I'm just going to use uh, x-ray so it's easy to visualize. So this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this one first. All right, extrude this one. Move. And along the Z axis, just move this one. All right, and you subtract command. Click the object you want to keep. Maybe this too. Right click and select the object that you want to subtract. There you go. I'm just going to change this to realistic. And uh, move this one. I'm just going to erase those. And I'm going to apply fillet. And the fillet here is, uh, this one here is one. So go to solid and select fillet edge. Right click and select radius option and enter one. And... Uh, Right click again and select uh, chain. Click this edge and click this edge. And click that edge, enter and enter again. I'm just gonna erase that. I'm gonna maximize this one. And I think we're done. So thanks for watching. Oh, wait. I have to apply fillet here. View. Tell vertically. Move this one to the other side. And I think the fillet here is 0.1. Apply fillet uh, on this edge. So go to home. Uh, click solid. Select fillet edge. Uh, go down to the command window. Or you just could right click. Click radius and select uh, point 0.1, enter and select this edge, enter twice. And I think we are done. So thanks for watching. See you again. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. Bye.